Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, Namaste, Sasri Akal, and welcome back to my channel, Canadian Born Desi. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the lack of preciseness when it comes to referring to your relatives in the English language. But when you say, oh, that's my uncle, it doesn't really tell you much about that individual, right? You know that they're a relative, but you really don't know whether they're, you know, your mom's brother or your dad's brother. It doesn't help you really identify which side of the family it comes from. When you say grandpa or grandma, whose father is it? Is it your mom's dad? Is it your father's father? Is it your mom's mother? Is it your father's mother? That level of preciseness just doesn't exist in the English language. When I look at Urdu, Hindi, and Punjabi, there's very specific names for all these different relatives, uh, all these different relationships. So for example, your dad's mother would be Dadi, your dad's father would be Dada, uh, your mother's mother would be Nani and your mother's uh, father would be Nana and then just in, in that same way your dad's brother, your dad's sister, your mother's brother, your mother's sister, they all have very specific titles uh, on how you would refer to them. While in the English language everybody's an uncle or an aunt so there's really no way to provide to have an idea when your friend says to you, you know what, today I went to my grandma's house or today I went to my uncle's house. Uh, all it really tells you is that they were some form of relative, but it doesn't really tell you which part of the family they're from or doesn't tell you any more information than except for the fact that they're a blood relative uh, or, or relative for that matter. In the South Asian culture, anybody who is not uh, a blood relative, we call them uncle and aunt. So that's the interesting thing, you know, for example, uh, you know, if somebody comes into our house and we meet them for the first time, a dad's friend, we would refer them to, we would refer to them as uncle or aunt. And that doesn't really uh, articulate or identify the fact that they're a relative of ours. Uh, so it's kind of interesting, while in the English language, uncle and aunt are used to define only who your relatives are. In a lot of South Asian languages, uncle and aunt are the exact opposite. They, they, they actually define who your relatives are not. Um, because for our relatives, we have very specific names. And with that, signing off, Canadian Born Desi. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, please subscribe, like. Assalamu alaikum, namaste, sasriyakal. See you all next time.